hello guys in this video and in the next few vi videos we will discuss basic components in jetpack compose so for first of all in, let's create a new project select this empty compose activity and name it compose basics and let's create the project So our project has been created as we can see some code has also come with the new project. So what this code is and also there is no XML file in this project because we create all the views in the with the help of Kotlin language. And here we can see there is a compose basic theme. So this is the theme of our app and here there is a surface composable and in this surface composable this creating function is there so this is th this function so in jetpack compose we create composable function with the help of this composable annotation and there is also a preview function like this so with the help of this preview annotation we can see there is a preview in this side so the first let's delete this In this video, we will discuss about the text composable. When we press TEXT, then there is a composable text. When we press Ctrl P, there are, uh, we can see the, all the parameters it allowed us. And all, if we want to see the documentation of this text composable, we can press Ctrl B and enter. So here this text composable files has been opened. So here we can read all about the doc documentation that what we can do with this composable. So first with here we will use hello, hello Android. If I want this text to be in bold color, so I can use the parameter font weight. So with the help of this parameter, I can give the weight. Let's type font weight and dot. So here we can see we can give different weight to our font. So now let, let, let's now use this bold. So now we can see the preview because this greeting function we are calling in this preview annotation function. Let's see the preview here. So like this, our, our text has been bold. So now if we want to give some different size to our text, so we can use the parameter font size like this. Let's use 40 SP. Let's import. We use SP unit to give the font size SP scalable pixel. So for all the other things in jetpack compose we use dp unit dot dp unit for text we use sp unit so now let's see the preview like this we can see our text has been bold so let's minimize it some and now if we want our text to be in italic so we can use the parameter font style so here italic so like this we can give our text is italic style so now if we want to give some different color than this black so we can do so with the help of color parameter so like this let's use blue color and see the changes so our text has been made blue now if I want underline to our text, so we can do with the help of text decoration. Text decoration. Like this we can use 
there is a line through and there is a underline so first let's see the what this underline will do to our text so this underline has given a line under our text and what that other line through was with this line through there is a line over our text for now let's delete this text decoration parameter and now we want to give some font so we can do with the help of this font family parameter font family dot so we can see there is are some fonts we can use let's see the this cursive so we can see our text has been in cursive now if we want to use our own font so how we can use so for that let's go to this re resource directory and right click and here android android resource directory here we will use the resource type to font and press ok so now we can see there is a font package so now we can copy our font from the system so i have copied a font which i want to use in my project so now let's press ctrl v and ok so now we can see there is a font in our project also so if i want to use this font to this text so how i can do this first let's delete this italic style and here i will say font family font r dot font dot cairo like this we can use our custom fonts so now let's see the preview now we can see our text is using this cairo font so there is a better option so what we can do we can go to this ui theme and here there is a type dot kt file so here we can create a new variable for that font like this we can create a, a variable and we can use that variable here now when we see the result the result will be same because it is just using that font from that type file now if i want to give different styles in the same text so how i can do so for that we use other parameter so what we will do we will use this hello android and in that hello android text h will be bold and red color and the rest e double l o will be in black and normal in the same way we will give the style to this android text so how we can do so for that let's delete this and use annotated string build annotated string here we will say like this with this style with this style here we can give some different style to this h and for that e double l o we will just use append and say e double l o because we don't need any styling in this e double l o in the same way we will give the styling to that android text for that android for that o in android we will take red and bold and for the rest of the text in android we will take simply this like this so now we can see the preview let's zoom it now we can see we have given different styling in the for the same text with the help of this built annotated string so like this we can do this thing now let's run this text in our emulator also we can see our hello android text is also showing in our emulator now what i want let's zoom it now i want this text to be a selectable 
and there is also no gap between this hello android for that let's give some space after this o and for that selectable text there is a simple selection container composable so in this selection container we will just call cut this and paste here now let's run our app again now we can see our text reads is selectable like this so we can we will also we can also copy our text because this is selectable text so like this there is a selection container so with in this selection container whatever text whether it is simple text or annotated string so whatever text will be in this container so it will be of type selectable so like this we can give different styling we just need to see the different parameters what this text composable allows for that we can just press control b and their new file will open so here we can see there are so many parameters like this there is a line height letter spacing so like this we can give different more styling to our text so you should discover more functionality to this text composable but for this video we will discuss only this part related to text composable in the next video we will discuss about the button outline button and modifier thanks for watching